India has issued a note and warning for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle over the Bay of Bengal, for the period from 22nd to 25th January. The maximum designated length is 600 km, and this is expected to be the longer duration test of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. The Indian government has fast-tracked its development, and a 1,500 km range production-ready hypersonic missile will be ready within the next four years. India's Aeronautical Development Establishment has recently floated a tender for vendors, for supplying a wind tunnel model of its futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft program. As per latest reports, Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur will conduct the wind tunnel model design fabrication and testing of unmanned fighter aircraft, while the National Aerospace Laboratories will be carrying out the flow diagnostics and flow control technologies. As India is set to decide between Safran and Rolls-Royce to develop a 110-kN-class new generation jet engine in the next few months, India is keeping a close eye on the French next-generation jet engine program, that has completed its first ground test this week, and will power the sixth-generation future combat air system. The prototype engine is derived from the Safran M88, and after the results of the first ground test are analyzed, the project will move on towards an endurance test, that will last several months. Higher thrust means higher temperatures, and the conditions could reach 1826 degrees Celsius at the turbine inlet, which is 250 degrees Celsius more than the M88 engine, and as existing materials are not able to sustain such conditions, Safran has also started development of new metal alloys and multi-layer systems, for high temperature applications on turbine blades and discs. After Philippines, the next country to procure the BrahMos missile is expected to be United Arab Emirates, as the discussions with UAE is in advanced stages. UAE is the first Gulf nation to express interest in buying the BrahMos and the Akash missile, that was followed with an inquiry by another Gulf country Saudi Arabia, but the discussions were put on hold due to the lockdown. Officials have said, that during the visit of the Indian Army chief to both UAE and Saudi Arabia, the export of BrahMos and other military platforms like artillery systems was part of the discussions. The Ministry of Defense has decided to cancel the plan to procure 21 MiG-29 airframes that are in deep storage in Russia, that were planned to be upgraded with UPG standard by Hindustan Aeronautics, that were offered by Russia at an reasonable price. The Indian Air Force has not spoken about why it has decided to opt out of the 21 MiG-29 deal, that could have helped it to achieve its sanctioned squadron strength. The Ministry of Defense in consultation with the Navy has dropped plans to acquire six more P-8 anti-submarine aircraft, and now the focus will be on the DRDO proposed indigenous multi-mission maritime aircraft. With the cancellation of six additional P-8 aircraft, India will save $2.4 billion in terms of foreign exchange. The multi-mission maritime aircraft would include three tactical consoles, an active electronically scannery radar, friend and foe identification equipment, an electro-optical infrared sensor, and other equipments that are consistent with the maritime patrol mission. It can be based on the Airbus C-295, that has already been selected for local production in India by a joint venture of Airbus and Tata Group, or a larger platform will be procured to equip it with indigenous radars and sensors. Private sector firm Alpha Design Technologies Private Limited have been declared as the L1 bidder in the Indian Army's project for the development of swarm of rotary wing drones for planes. The firm's winning bid was 6 crores 24 lakh rupees, and the price also includes the intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance payload, long-range airborne data relay payload with all accessories and carrying cases, and the field tools kit for maintenance. 
for another project for the development of drone-mounted anti-radar jammer system for rotary wing swarm drones. The bid by Anchor Research Labs and Alpha Design Technologies Private Limited has also been accepted by the Technical Evaluation Board and has been processed for financial bidding process. India's Indigenous Guided Missile Destroyer INS Kochi conducted a joint exercise with Russian destroyer Admiral Tribats in the Arabian Sea, and the exercise showcased cohesiveness and interoperability between the two navies. Kaspersky has said in its latest 2022 report, that India is among the top five targets for cyber attacks in the Asia-Pacific region particularly security breaches that involve cyber espionage, with the intention to collect valuable geopolitical business and military intelligence. The reasons include rapidly increasing usage of digital technologies, but the lack of awareness regarding cyber security, as well as limited resources deployed towards mitigation.